Hey, this is Brad with FirstSightGuide.com, and in this video, I'll be walking you through the post section of your WordPress blog, and we'll also be publishing your first blog post together. So scroll over here on the left-hand side and click on the post section. The post section allows you to control the new content that you'll be adding to your blog. Here you'll find the all post section, the add new section, categories, and tags. Right now we're going to go ahead and add your first blog post. So go up to the top here and click on the add new button. And since this is our food blog, the blog post I'm going to add is called Delicious Raw Sushi. So that would be our title up top here. And then down below is the content area. So in the content area, we can add some text. Hello, this is a cherished family recipe for sushi. I'll be back to update the specifics soon. Check back then. So you can go ahead and add some text. And then what I'm going to do right here with this blank space is add an image. So you'll start by scrolling up here to the Add Media button, click on it. And then right here, you'll click on Select Files. Then you'll find the file on your computer. And mine's right here called Sushi. So I've double clicked and now WordPress is uploading the image to our blog. So you can see it's checked here. I don't want it to link to anything, so I'm going to put none, and I'm going to leave it on the medium size. And then all you have to do is click insert into post. So there you see we've added the sushi image inside of our blog post. Now if we look up top here, right below our title, you'll see that our blog post's permalink is going to be firstfoodblog.com slash question mark p equals four which is kind of confusing so we're actually going to right click on the change permalinks button right here and open it up in a new tab and what this section is going to allow us to do is simplify our URL structure so what I'm going to click on is post name and then I'm going to go down here to the custom structure box and get rid of the trailing slash so now our URL structure is going to be firstfoodblog.com slash hostname. Scroll down to the bottom and click Save Changes. And now we'll go back to our Add New Post blog post here and click Publish. So if we right click on View Post now and open it up in a new tab, you'll see that our blog post has been published and it's now at firstfoodblog.com slash delicious dash raw dash sushi. One more thing I'd like to cover in this video is adding categories and tags on your blog post. So if we go back to our blog post here and scroll down on the right hand side, you'll see the categories section. If we click add new category, we can add a recipes section, click on the add new category button, and then we're going to want to uncheck uncategorized right here, and that's going to put our blog post into the recipes section. We can do the same thing with tags down here on the bottom right. We can put in sushi, sushi recipe family sushi recipe and what this is going to do is it's going to help us organize our blog so if we scroll back up and click update and then go back to our published blog post we can refresh and on some themes they actually add the tags down below the blog post and what's also cool is it'll add a link to the recipes category over here on the left. So if we were to click there, 
this would be a section that a visitor could come and find the blog posts that have been categorized as a recipe. I hope you found this quick demo useful. For more videos and how-to guides, please visit us at firstsightguide.com. Take care.